Massachusetts is known as one of the most LGBT-friendly states in the United States. It was the first U.S. state to grant marriage licenses to same-sex couples. It was also the first state in the country to support transgender individuals through the popular vote in recent years. About 60 miles south of Boston lies the small town of Somerset. The suburban area is home to Somerset Berkeley Regional High School. Many students throughout the past few years have tried to better the school community and the community of the town through the Gay Straight Alliance, known as GSA. The GSA's main goal is to help the community of Somerset, as well as the school, to understand and accept LGBT people. This is a step in the right direction towards more positivity. It is vital for students to feel accepted and comfortable in this community. Well, I think there's a lot of things that can be done to help the LGBT community. There's a lot of injustice in the world. So overall, I think we could be a lot kinder to those, especially those who are different from ourselves, like those in the LGBT community. But overall, we could educate more on how important it is to know about the community and be accepting of it all. I also think places like the Midwest or other countries in the world that are not so accepting could take a model of the United States and how accepting we are of it and try to model our behavior based off of it. In order for the LGBT community to be better accepted throughout the whole community is definitely education and bringing awareness to the issues that the LGBT community faces. That way people can start to empathize and understand where they're coming from and overall just really get to know them better and realize that there isn't really much different. It's more of uh, like everything else. Even though I'm only 18, it, the world has changed a lot with its views on the LGBT community. When I was younger, uh, gay people weren't really talked about, and it was sort of brushed under the rug. At least with my family, we never really talked about it. Although I knew like there was nothing wrong with them, we never had a chat about it at all. And of course, my family is very Catholic, and a lot of people in my family don't accept that type of thing and don't like talking about it. So as a kid, I didn't know much about it. And it kind of um, confused me when I first started realizing that part of me could be gay. I've definitely experienced um, homophobia in my lifetime, as well as transphobia. And I think I'm a decently strong person so I was able to overcome it, but I know it still kind of took its effect because it makes you feel like you're less of a person because you're being demonized in this way. It's just hard to deal with sometimes, but it's more just realizing that it's, it's okay and that what they're saying isn't true because you know it's not true, it's not wrong like they say, it's not abnormal, it's just a difference in a person is all. The United States was just coming to terms with the idea that it was okay to be gay and TV shows and movies started to show it more, especially like Ellen DeGeneres, she started the whole idea that having gay people on TV was okay. So well, I'd say overall a lot has changed. The um, overall idea and acceptance has changed, especially living in Massachusetts. Everyone's so accepting, at least to me, and it's absolutely wonderful and I want to change it. The strides in the last decade have been made to unrestrict and help the LGBT community. There is still a ways to go for this county, as well as Massachusetts. Positivity and acceptance should be a part of everyone's lives, especially when dealing with individuals who are different than others. As Maya Angelou said, if we lose love and self-respect for each other, this is how we finally die.